In this video, we're going to be going through some techniques that will allow you to sculpt, morph, and control the teeth of a figure from entirely inside Daz Studio using deformers. The methods that you'll learn in the video can be applied to any figure, any creature, any human shape, any of those things entirely inside the program that we're going to be working just for an example with the Genesis 8 female. You, you don't need anything but Daz Studio to start with. It's just, you know, when you want to build, there's a lot of more advanced type things that of course you know, you're going to want to build in other programs because the modeling capabilities of Daz Studio are are kind of limited some things that we've shown in some other videos actually. And of course, not to pimp the uh, Sixes One Mentoring uh, videos too hard, but uh, that new paradigm is entirely the focus. Uh, pretty much starting at uh, Series Two inside Das Studio and going forward is you know being able to do everything you possibly can without having to purchase another software or learn another interface, right? Yeah, yeah, that's that's really um, a, a a huge huge focus for this whole series is what can you do strictly inside Data Studio? What can you do that you don't need to sink any financial investment into to be able to get up and running? So eventually we are going to go back and do more with primarily ZBrush, maybe some other programs along the way. But I wanted to make sure that at the outset here, as early as possible, we probably should have led with this actually, but uh, I wanted to make sure that early on we, we really laid that groundwork so that the absolute beginner user, the absolute novice, could step in and go, oh, I don't have to have these other programs. I can do this inside here. I can, I can pose. I can sculpt. I can shape and deform and animate and do all these things inside here. Wow, I, you know, I can actually make content. So, yeah, there's, there's so much that you can do. Um, from right inside Daz Studio that it's it's really kind of crazy powerful. And it's a great gateway to the the larger world of 3D uh, production, 3D art. I know you're going to show uh, posing some focus later, the art of posing, but we talked about how um, that requires basically nothing beyond the, you know the free software. And then, of course, that coupled with this, uh, a person could conceivably you know spend a couple of months with these and then you know, create content to sell and ultimately fund purchasing something like a ZBrush. Yes, yes, absolutely. It, it's a, there's actually a, a path. And at some point I, I want to put out some materials and I'll probably put these out for free. Um, talking about the, the, the path to professional status, you know, a, a path to profession with this, where you start with the free software, you learn what you can do with it. You build the kind of content that you can build with it and use that to generate revenue. You earmark that revenue so that that then rolls into the investment of growing your skills uh, and growing your capabilities, which means choosing other software that you do have to purchase. But at that point, you've gone from literally nothing to stepping yourself into that broader professional world where you're starting to, you know, you've used free software to create content that allows you to then buy professional software that you then create more content with and hopefully are able to charge a higher premium and then you're able to just keep progressing that forward and it's just an ongoing cycle of growth um, that you know one of the things that I'm fascinated with just on a personal level with it is that these options are there that can take you from absolutely nothing and you know you you could be somebody who has massive medical issues you maybe you can't you know, work a normal job or whatever, or for whatever reason, you know, maybe you're, you're stuck at home or, or, you know, I know so many people who do this stuff as a hobby as just an outlet because they're, you know, they're homebound. Um, but even being homebound, you can still build your way into a really solid stream of revenue through this stuff and actually develop into a career and all kinds of cool art and just so many different things that you can do with it. So it's 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 crazy on a much like kind of larger philosophical level. It's crazy how much power you're looking at here. Even though we're just sitting here talking about teeth and deformers, you can go so far with this. I, I know people who have ended up working in film and animation and all kinds of crazy places they never thought they would have ended up. And it all started 
from right inside where we're sitting looking right now. It's really cool.